beautiful day. Look how gorgeous this looks. Today, I am heading to Halter Lake, joining Trevor and Jesse, FWP ice fishing experts. I've never gone ice fishing before, so this is a first for me, uh, winter activity, even though today it's a gorgeous day, but the goal is to catch the world record perch. Should be a great day. I'm just excited to learn a new outdoor activity and how to be safe on the ice. I don't know anything about ice fishing. Jesse, or what do we have to do before we get out there? I did put on my... So ice cleats are a great start. Um, I've got, I've got, there's all different kinds of cleats. I uh, want to make sure we have all the different kinds of layers. Uh, get all our gear ready. So we've got a spud bar to check ice. I've got an auger if I want to use that to check ice. I've got extra layers. I've got my water. I've got my sunscreen. I've got my rods and bait. Um, and my sled, so. And this is the one right here that's gonna make us catch our world record perch. Absolutely. Right, Trevor? Absolutely. I think maybe the green one. Trevor, how long have you been ice fishing for? Oh, I can't keep track. Probably 30, 40 years. I think it's gonna be a lucky day today. It's gonna happen. What's, is this okay conditions right now to be going ice fishing? I think so, it's nice. You know, we always like a little less wind. All right, and now are we, Jesse, are we gonna make sure the ice is thick enough right now? Absolutely, and one good key indication, we've got a lot of people already in front of us. So it's a pretty good indicator that the ice is good, but we can absolutely check it if we're not sure people have been where we are, or if it's been a few days and the conditions have changed, we can certainly check it all the way out. All right, let's go. Spud bar. So this is a spud bar. It's just a tool that you can use to check the ice as you're going out on the ice to make sure it's it's safe. So obviously just ramming it into the ice. And if you see any questionable ice when you go out, go out, it's a good way to, to test it out, especially later in the year. So it's looking pretty solid. It's not going in very far. Ice is Ice is nice and clear. So we're just getting onto the ice and one of the things we're talking about is right along the shoreline is often one of the places that you'll see kind of start to break up first. Sometimes there's pressure ridges. Um, so it's gonna be one of the places that we kind of just, we're aware, we're making sure that there's a safe place to get onto the main ice. Um, it's a good place to look if the, if the ice starts to go bad. It's a great place to start paying attention to that because it's usually going to start here. Um, so we're just looking, everything looks good. Um, so we'll just head out onto the main, main thoroughfare. My initial reaction to stepping out on this frozen lake was, this is what it might feel like to set foot on Venus. It's pretty slick. Is that? It's pretty slick. I could sense the hollow cold of the lake beneath my feet. And if it wasn't for my yak tracks, I likely would have taken a spill. Hard to believe, but just under the surface could be our record-sized perch. So we're gonna check the ice the second way. We're just gonna use an auger on this one. Um, so we'll get a nice round hole. We'll see how thick the ice is. I've got my measuring tape so I can check it. Um, so the bud, spud bar told us we were pretty good out here, but now I wanna know just how deep the ice is. I'm far enough out. I'm not gonna drill into the rocks or anything. So we're just gonna drill in and see how it is, see how mushy the ice looks or how hard it looks and go from there. Looks good. We got nice shaved ice that came out of there, which tells us it's pretty hard ice. Now I'm just going to get my measuring stick and see how thick we've got. So I've got that hooked on the bottom of the shelf, so it's showing a 10. So we've got about nine inches of ice today. We're just jigging and waiting. We're, uh, we're fishing for perch today, so we're using maggots for bait on just kind of small jigging lures. And so here we got a little drop chain that lets the perch kind of suck it in. And so uh, we'll see if we can we can locate. I've drilled a bunch of holes, 
Sometimes with the perch, they're kind of moving around in schools, and you got a whole hop of different ones to try to locate them. How will we know how to fish? Well, I'll start hooting and hollering. You can wiggle, I'll jiggle. Hard water fishing can move at the speed of melting ice. But via the magic of video editing, we can cut to the action. Positive mojo, Trevor, positive mojo. Okay, so this perch isn't going to eclipse the two pound 11 ounce record, but Trevor seems to have cracked the code. Maybe the next bite will land him in the record books. catch a world record perch today? Um, I think this one's close, but I don't think it's quite there. So. All joking aside, ice fishing opportunities abound across our beautiful state, and by following a few precautions, you can ensure a fun and safe outdoor activity for the entire family. Until next time, remember, the outside is in us all.